We are a nation of dog lovers. There are nine million of them in our homes. We love them and they love us. But they don't always get the treatment they deserve. Luckily, cruelty to dogs does not go unnoticed because of the people that come to their rescue. They are the Dog Rescuers. It's thought that as many as a thousand puppies a week are smuggled into Britain, often coming from Eastern Europe and through Ireland and Wales. Today, Inspector Cathy Hyde's on the outskirts of Manchester and she's working with the police to smash a suspected puppy trafficking ring. And there's probably about 30 dogs in there, puppies. Not ideal environment, so it's a question now of sorting out exactly where they're going. We've got dogs everywhere. Dogs about to give birth, lots of puppies, and there's major concerns about the welfare in there as well. Cathy's team are on hand to get the dogs assessed and out of there. And as the numbers climb, more of them are showing signs of illness. <coughs> there's a few very young ones that Cathy is particularly concerned about. On the surface, they might look okay, but they're all showing signs of a potentially fatal virus. We suspect this litter of puppies got something called parvovirus, which can kill very, very quickly. So priority to get them to the vet, get them rehydrated and get them treated. Today, Hershey's on her way to an address in Smethwick near Birmingham. A call has come in about an owner with a few too many huskies. Oh, there's a husky in the window up there. But that's not the only husky waiting for Hershey. <laughs> They're all being looked after by Nikki and Ken, and they've certainly got their hands full. They wake up, say, three o'clock in the morning sometimes and start howling and barking. About eight o'clock, it's their feeding time, so they go mad then because there's no foods on the go. But we spend most of the day then just <coughs> pooping, scooping, if you like, and mopping up after them. It is very stressful. Today, Claire's on her way to an address in Tottenham, North London. She's concerned about a Maltese terrier called Dixie. It's living on the flat roof above a fast food establishment. There is a possibility that it could jump from the roof. So we're on our way now just to see if we can check that the dog's OK and if not, get the dog down. Let's just hope Claire and her colleague Siobhan are able to get Dixie down from the roof. Oh, there it is. Hello. <coughs> well, it's loose. It could just run out in the road. <coughs> I'm going round there. <coughs> Hello. Every owner has a legal responsibility to provide for their dog. It seems as though little Dixie's needs aren't being met. There's nothing to stop that dog running down the stairs out into the street. It does have shelter. It's got no water. It's boiling today, really, out here for a dog. Hopefully the police will be happy for Claire to take Dixie. So I don't need you to do anything except to say that I can take it away. Join me, Alan Davis, for a brand new series of The Dog Rescue.